Boys and girls, Uncle Larry would like you to meet Miss Caledonia Fitzgerald. That's Ms. Oh, I'm sorry. Ms. Caledonia Fitzgerald. Hello, boys and girls. And thank you, Uncle Larry, for having me on the show. What brings you to Uncle Larry's clubhouse? Well, when I saw the second episode where Buck Karma talks about Princess Di still being alive, I thought it was just a publicity stunt. But now I know better, and I want to tell the world. I see. So you no longer believe that she's actually dead. Exactly. I personally saw her myself two days ago in the Burger King. She was wearing a tube top and pedal pushers, and she ordered a 99-cent Whopper and a Diet Pepsi. Well, that certainly is an incredible claim. How do you know it was her for sure? Well, I'm not blind. She's been all over the television and the news for the last month. I think I can trust the evidence of my own eyes. Indeed. Why do you think she would fake her own death? Well, to escape the paparazzi. The pressure of the media. She didn't have a family life or any privacy. She said so herself. I think she got the idea from Elton John. He talked to her about Jim Morrison. And that's why the royal family was so slow to react. They didn't think she was dead. It was only after Charles begged them to adopt the ploy for the sake of his sons that they agreed to do the media release and mourn with the rest of the nation. Well, that is certainly an intriguing theory. So tell Uncle Larry, Caledonia, why do you think she would hide out here in Sonoma County? Can you think of another place that's closer to nowhere? Well, you got me there. Thank you, Caledonia Fitzgerald, for your eyewitness report. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>